Hello and welcome to Azure Lane Meta. If after this video you want to help support the channel, please check out my affiliate store at kit.co slash Azure Lane Meta. Okay guys, welcome back to another ship review. Today we have the SSSS Gridman collab with Azure Lane. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the seven new ships as well as the new equipment and the map. Before I get into this, I just wanna apologize for not being as active this last few weeks. It's been very busy in my real life and it probably will be that way at least for the next month. Just keep that in mind. I apologize to those of you. I'm gonna try and get some streams in when I can, but in terms of video content, it's gonna be a little bit slow. Slow. Editing takes a long time and I don't have an editor yet, so please bear with me. Anyway, with that, let's get into the actual event. We're going to talk about the patch notes first and then we'll get into the ships and then move into equipment. So today we are ending the previous mini event and we'll be starting the new Gridman collab event, which we called the World Spanding Arc Light. Part of that, we will also be getting a seven day mini game for limited furniture as well as the Yumi's Journey mini event. Also, we'll be getting a new cruise mission season this obviously starts on December 1st but the patch comes with the update so we can look at the data mine for that but you won't see it until the 1st of December obviously this update comes on the 25th of November with the collab we're getting a bunch of new skins Bremerton and Independence get new skins we get the Black Friday rerun skins for all the previous skins a lot of L2Ds if you buy enough of them you'll get a free ring all of the new collab ships will have their own skins that you can purchase on top of their base default skins. Rika, Akane, and Yume will also have rental outfits so you can test them out. We will get a new furniture set as well as a new gearbox specifically for the collab event. New justograms for those who appreciate those as well as system optimizations. There's going to be a new portrait for the dev level 30 characters. There's also going to be a new function for quick converting special general blueprints for PRs. Chat channels have been changed so there will no longer have bosses in the channel as default and that they will be saved as default after rebooting the game. The red dot notification in the cat lodge has been changed and then they fixed a couple bugs. For example, that ASW stats were not affected by the affinity bonus in PR ships and some clicking bugs. So with the patch notes out of the way, let's get into the ships. We got seven of of them so let's get started we're gonna start on the first one Rika Rika is an SR light cruiser and she looks pretty much all around in terms of her stats a little bit power crept over what I'd say the average SR light cruiser has been in the past so stat wise she's looking like a slightly above average light cruiser all around her Let's see what the skills have to say about it. Skill number one. For the first 90 seconds of the battle, she increases her firepower by 15%. Every 20 seconds in the battle, fire an attack using grid beam. When equipped with battle tracto max or buster bore, and that reminds me that we'll have to do all of the equipments at the end of the ships. So I don't know what those do yet, but those are going to be the event exclusive items. So if they're equipped on her, this barrage is enhanced. You can also get this if she's paired with Namiko or Haas as well instead. Skill number two, for the first 90 seconds of the battle, the anti-error of this ship is increased by 15%, as well as the shell damage taken is reduced by 8%, so that's just a damage reduction. It's very similar to the first skill, which is offensive, and this skill is more defensive. The first skill only boosts firepower though, not torpedoes, but this skill boosts her defense against aviation damage with the AA, and it boosts obviously the shell damage taken, or it reduces that, which is a benefit for her. Five seconds after the battle starts, and every 30 seconds after that, fire a special attack. So she's going to have a barrage right now sitting at the five second mark, the 20 second mark, the 35 second mark, the 40 second mark, and you know, so on. So a lot of barrages here. This barrage is actually enhanced when you equip either the Samurai Caliber or the Sky Vitor. So this is kind of setting up a showcase where when she's equipped with the Battle Tractor and let's say the Sky Vitor, she'll get both enhanced barrages here oh that reminds me this ship can equip auxiliaries anywhere like she could equip auxiliaries instead of her anti-air slot or instead of her main gun slot or instead of her torpedo slot that is interesting that alone makes this kind of a must pick up ship for me because it's so unique i mean you could literally just put like a bunch of 
torpedo auxiliaries and make her a torpedo ship even though she like i mean i don't know what the last skill is but even though she has like all these things that are not related to torpedo stat she could literally become a torpedo boat just by auxiliaries i think the the thought process was that you would use all of these like equipments because it's a battle mech anime right that we're collabing with so i think the idea was that you'd have all these different gear that she can like equip like in mecha form but i i think that there's more potential to be abused if you stay with more traditional equips but i don't know these enhanced barrages let's take a look at these enhanced barrages to see what they will look like now it's hard to kind of get both of them so this video is going to have both barrages in them see if you can see where they proc so you can see right here the slash circus comes out it's got like a directed slash there pretty simple barrage and then if you see just in a moment here, the other barrage will proc. There it is with the beams. That's a pretty interesting barrage there. And also the heal comes out too. So I assume that has to do with the third skill because uh, I don't think there was any healing in this one. All right, skill number three, 40 seconds after the battle starts, fire an attack using the grid fixer beam and also heal all ships in the current fleet three times. Okay, there's the heal that we were seeing in that clip of the barrages. So that actually is going to come out, you know, 40 seconds later. So the first skill is going to proc at the 20 second mark. The second skill is going to proc at the five and 35 second mark. And then the third skill is going to proc at the 40 second mark along with the second run of or the second proc of the first skill so a lot of barrages right at that 35 40 second mark of course this is a heal it heals all of the fleet so that's really cool it heals them equal to one percent of the target's max hp three times so three percent of the target's max hp when hp of this ship falls under 50 percent in the battle from damage trigger the above healing effect once max trigger once per battle overall looks pretty good off the basis but i'm going to be giving my full like recap review at the end of this video because i'm looking at these individually as they come up i don't know what the other ships do i don't know what the equipments do and there's obviously going to be a lot of synergy i can see from these skills so we'll have to take a look at you know my thoughts on that at the end i'll have that time stamped so with that let's move on to the next sr we have actually four srs for this event which i guess is becoming more standard for collab events but it's still weird to have four srs so next up we have Akane. She is a SR battleship. In terms of firepower, stat-wise, she's above Monarch, which is kind of impressive. She's got lower health and lower reload. Actually, that reload's a little bit lower than I would like, but stat-wise, she looks fine. I'm guessing she's going to be a barrage battleship because that's typical for these collab battleships. Her main gun efficiency is a little lower than I would like. I'd like to be like 145 or something like that, but let's take a look at what it is. Skill number one, 70% chance to fire a special barrage when firing the main gun. Not guaranteed, but 70% chance. Let's take a look at what this barrage does. Okay, so this barrage kind of just like sets this like explosion, this pink purple explosion. It looks very powerful. Powerful. It looks like it just targets kind of I don't know if that's gonna be targeting or if it's going to be just like set where she is So she might have to be sitting in the flagship spot for this to be effective I don't actually know that from looking at this. I gotta say though her chibi is hilarious uh, It's like Godzilla-esque. I don't know. That's just hilarious. Anyway moving on Skill number two, every 20 seconds in the battle, launch seaplanes using the instance of reaction. The planes damage scales with firepower, so that's good given that she's a battleship. Let's take a look at what these are. These are just three, oh, they almost look like siren planes. That's kind of interesting. Uh, so they got three planes that come out. They do what looks like, like kind of rocket targeting. Of course, these should reveal as well, so that's really important for a battleship. Looks really good, like something like a monarch isn't going to reveal. It's going to need a carry with her so i like this final third skill firepower plus eight percent gotta love it so she's gonna get boosted to firepower when her hp falls below 30 percent in the battle from damage an additional 10 percent boost to firepower and she heals herself four times two percent each time so eight percent heal ten percent boost to firepower eight percent boost to firepower all around so you know she very similar to monarch when she like starts dropping she starts healing she also gets the boost to power so this is a very 
very good barrage battleship, actually. Obviously, Monarch is not necessarily the best barrage battleship out there, but it's definitely, for newer players, the standard, like, first PR ship that you're targeting. So the fact that she is probably around on par with that, I mean, the main gun efficiency is a little bit low, but she is boosting her firepower a lot. She's got good barrages, 70% chance on that first one that's really powerful. So hopefully that procs, but yeah, good barrage battleship right here. Let's move on to the next one, which is Chise. She's an SR aircraft carrier actually she's got more health than i would have expected air power is all right i mean it's not like something like an essex class but it's over something like acula so you know whatever reload is actually higher than i would have expected so good he reload good health air power is a little bit low but we'll see she loads out in a 233 which is the new standard for carriers that are coming out because it's more powerful with only having two fighter slots you don't have to worry about as much i mean something like acula has a 224 which is like better for pvp but the dive bombers are great especially if you can get yourself on one of those 10 rise which takes forever all right skill number one starts the battle with a preloaded airstrike all right so we got to go look at the stats at a totally different way here because really she's only going to compare herself to perseus and acula as those are the only two preloaded i guess i should have finished this skill before i do that starting from the second airstrike with this ship onwards launch the barrage of seaplanes on airstrike so the first airstrike is preloaded and then every airstrike after that has an extra barrage okay so we have another preloaded and that instantly makes her like in the realm of Acula, she's got more air power than Acula. The reload's higher, but Acula does have a cooldown reduction when you do her preload. So I'm thinking Acula is going to fire first, but on the second airstrike, obviously the first one, they're both preloaded. Acula, I already mentioned this, but Acula is a 224, so that's more crash damage, whereas this is a 233 for the plane loadout. Yeah, I mean, that skill right, uh, right alone is going to make this like, let's see what the second skill is. Just you know, so we know the whole ship. On the first and third airstrikes, interesting. So the first one that's preloaded and then two later, launch an attack with gold burn and also give the Vanguard lead ship a shield that blocks 15 shells for 10 seconds. While the shield holds, the Vanguard ship takes 8% less damage. So not only is she preloaded, but that first airstrike is going to actually reduce the damage of your Vanguard ships by 8% and block a 15 shells for 10 seconds. I, I remember when people would use like Illustrious for the shield. This is like a shield, but you can use it right off the bat. And while the shield won't be able to block like, you know, certain, you know, armor piercing stuff and torpedoes, it does reduce the damage, which is kind of like an extra special shield because I mean, a lot of people are like, well, if it's blocking shells, then why do you care? But not only is it blocking the 15 shells, but it's going to reduce the damage those ships take. Uh, so the shield effectively is going to work for every type of damage in some respect. Yeah. I mean, I will talk about this more at the end, but uh, this ship looks amazing but we got we got seven ships to get through so let's keep moving on we got the final sr yume she's a heavy cruiser that wise okay she's got no torpedo stat okay so she's got a main gun plus one and she's got a side dd gun so she's going to be a firepower boat in terms of health the firepower that looks all fine so let's move into the skills really quickly here every 20 attacks with secondary guns so not the main gun weird so her secondary gun's a dd gun so you could run like the 76 millimeter and make this faster attack with a blazing inferno so okay skill number two for the first 90 seconds of the battle increase her evasion stat by 15 percent her evasion stat was nothing that special but you know plus 15 percent is going to help that ehp a lot every 18 seconds in the battle fire a another laser heavy armor enemies hit by this are affected by armor break so that's guaranteed that's now no percentage it's just every 18 seconds we're going to apply armor break that's really nice and what's this third skill every 10 attacks with the main gun and remember she's got two main guns because she's got a main gun plus one so that's like almost every five i mean there's universal cooldowns and stuff but whatever fire a special barrage okay let's just take a showcase of all these barrages like together because there's just like a lot she's always going so we obviously come in here and then barrage we got that skill activation and then you know just lasers another barrage a different laser and then the the rocket things and the oh my gosh 
this is the barrage queen honestly like let's let's take a look at this we have every 20 attacks in the secondary gun every basically five attacks on the main gun and then every 18 seconds this ship is almost never not going to have a barrage going you know pvp that's not super important but like pve this is gonna be like a great ship like if you are in pve and you're facing like i don't know a heavy armor boss you're gonna have a bunch of barrages to clear out those little mobs before the boss and then you're gonna have like like armor piercing at that like 18 second mark and that that's like perfectly timed with a lot of battleships that you can work with and it's guaranteed so you don't have to worry about any pro like this ship not going to be a pvp thing at all but yeah okay so basically all the srs are pretty good but let's let's move on to the three elites oh i guess we have a four ship too because um Hugo. but yeah let's finish up the event specifically first we have Haas next she is a light cruiser with light armor that's not very good and stat wise yeah you can kind of just if you just compare her over from Rika you can just see the difference so yeah let's start with skill number one using the power of Buster Boar does that mean she has to have Buster Boar equipped which is the equipment I think based on what I saw from Rika. Every 10 attacks with the main gun, fire a barrage and release a smoke screen. The smoke screen lasts for five seconds and removes all ignite effects. Ooh, that's actually really interesting. So here's the barrage. We have that smoke screen. It gets rid of the unite effects. So it's kind of almost like a status remover. She got the rockets. I like it. I'm not sure it's good right now, but it is interesting because, you know, removing fire status is quite interesting. Let's move on to skill number two. Using the power of Sky Vitter, which is another equipment i assume you have to have that equipped five seconds after the battle starts fire a laser and increase the anti-air of this ship by eight percent seventy percent to trigger again after 20 seconds and the a buff can stack up to two times so you can go up to 16 percent and it does so basically five seconds after it's going to give you this barrage and that anti yeah the anti-air sticks permanently then every 20 seconds after so at 25 45 65 you're gonna have a 70 percent chance to proc the barrage again you can stack the aa buff uh, one more time and so yeah this barrage doesn't seem that powerful honestly it's just kind of like man I, i'm really more interested in this fire healing smoke screen but yeah she's a fun ship that why she's not great but that's kind of expected for an elite ship the armor being light and that low hp pool that's it's really gonna hurt quite a bit but yeah fun ship fun ship moving on to the heavy cruiser namiko so she's medium armor her health is oh she's a torpedo heavy cruiser elite that is is, um okay let's hope their skills uh, help uh yeah stat wise nothing special yeah definitely not okay moving on using the power of samurai caliber so when you have that equipped every 20 seconds in battle fire an attack using gridman caliber and generate a shield in front that blocks up to 10 shells and it lasts for eight seconds so let's take a look here so she just basically has the the three slashes there and then puts up a shield uh very basic uh nothing that special and the fact that it's like you have to wait 20 seconds for it oh boy all right this is gonna be the garbage ship i can already feel it this is gonna be the garbage ship of the event all right so for the next one uh using the power of battle tracto max secondary ghost gun is enhanced Ooh, i like that i mean i don't know how good the secondary ghost gun is right off the bat but secondary ghost guns are always great i'm not sure it's gonna be that powerful but every 15 seconds in the battle 70 percent chance to fire this barrage yeah so okay this this one is interesting the secondary ghost gun i don't have stats on right now technically i should probably wait to get those before i make my assessment but from everything else in this ship this ship is definitely going to be probably collection tier i don't see anything that's very special about this ship other than if that ghost gun is like twice as good as a gears ghost gun then maybe we'll talk about something but i don't think it will be all right moving on to the final event ship and then of course we have uh, the new meta ship that is coming out this one is a battleship it is a purple battleship so uh we are looking and hp wise she's kind of similar to akane which is you know not very strong that was probably akane's lower point uh firepower is under 400 that's extremely depressing and the and the reload isn't anything special so i guess the evasion is 
higher than what it, yeah this ship stat wise it's going to be your your standard battleship for elites so let's see if we have anything every 20 seconds activate instance domination and launch siren aircraft so very similar to akane she is going to also launch an aircraft that is a really weird flight path oh my gosh that is it's almost like it reminds me of like those like really old video game space shooters like the way that it flies around that is such a weird flight pattern it's like it goes backwards it sits and then it just like comes up here and shoots these red sparkles everywhere very cool looking very unique doesn't look actually that powerful once again it, you gotta wait 20 seconds to see it all right next one for the final skill on main guns firing activate a instance domination and use siren equipment to fire a barrage so she's using siren equipment it looks Honestly, it looks like just like any standard meta barrage. Like, uh, it looks good, by the way. It looks, you know, H-E. This is a decent barrage. So I feel like in a standard collab event, I'd be like, this ship's actually decent. Like, it's fine. I feel like in this event, this event is pretty stacked. Like, there's a lot of good collab things going on in this event. I'm going to, just because I have the ships up, I'm going to talk about Hero Hero meta. Not Hero meta, Hero meta. Uh, so this is going to be part of the cruise the new cruise missions they come on december 1st so you won't see it um you can get this if you use the free one of course if you want the skin you're gonna have to pay but you can get this ship uh meta wise it's gonna be just like the past cruise mission ship so it is in elite as well it's a light aircraft carrier so i'm not too enthusiastic about it but let's Let's take a look. So in terms of like stats, it's going to be very, very similar to the base form. Uh, yeah, I don't really see much difference. That's a note. So let's look at the skills. On airstrike, launch barrage planes. So literally just every time on strike, barrage. When sorted in the same fleet as Junio, increase her aviation and accuracy by 10%. So that's kind of nice. I mean, we're working off of an aviation stat of like 330. So what is that? Like 33 extra aviation that's not uh that great but um and of course you have to use junio who's not good uh if equipped with e any ijn planes that's easy max detection gauge is plus 15 if not damage reduction is reduced by 15 percent that's interesting i was thinking this was gonna be great and easy because ijn planes are like easy to equip but then i'm like damage reduction 15 percent that almost seems better than the detection gauge so she might be something that you want to put no ijn planes on and then when she's in Operation Siren, all of these kind of get this. When fighting a humanoid siren or boss fleet, damage dealt is increased by uh, 6%. So this meta ship is collection only and not very good, but very cool art. And uh, definitely, you know, I've been collecting metas just in case we get something where they're super important to have collection because they're hard to get once. Uh, I don't even know if there's going to be any way to get them once they're gone. Of course, these collab ships are going to not have a way to get get them once they're gone so that's interesting given they're very unique and pretty powerful so yeah let's look at gears and then i'll give i'll give probably the whole event review so let's look at the battle tracto max so it gives us 28 firepower at plus 13 18 evasion so that's actually not a bad combo depending on who you equip it on it also enhances rika's first skill so this is like pretty decent for her yeah i mean I don't know how much I would use this outside of Rika, but it's not bad. Moving on to Gridman Caliber. It gives us 34 evasion. This is the one that enhances Rika's second skill. The enhancement that it gives is a torpedo barrage every 20 seconds in the battle. And if I didn't say in the first one, the enhancement is that the main gun gets a special weapon boost. So if you equip the battle tracto for Rika's skill number one, you get a special main gun weapon. If you equip the caliber, you get a torpedo barrage uh, every 20 seconds in the battle. You can literally make Rika like super torpedo here. Like you can give her this caliber, you can give her like rainbow torpedoes, and then you can give her like three torpedo auxiliaries and just not have a main gun. I don't know. You got you can do some weird things with Rika. Uh, anyway, let's move on to Buster Boar. Buster Boar gives 50 torpedo stat. I'm not sure it's technically going to be worth doing that over the torpedo auxiliary. It enhances Rika's first skill, though. So, you know, you could run 
bat. It adds a special Torp weapon. So yeah, you probably run Buster Boar and Gridman Caliber because she's going to get the extra Torpedo Barrage, the extra Torpedoes, and then you can run three Torpedo Auxiliaries. She's got a decent base Torpedo for a Light Cruiser. So yeah, I mean, we're talking about Rika a lot because Rika is really what these gears are for. You really wouldn't be using any of these outside of Rika. Kind of like how like Mikasa's equipment is really good for Mikasa, but not really outside. And then Sky Vitor, this one enhances Rika's second skill and it adds a special anti-air gun. It also adds 65 anti-air stat. I mean, I guess if you're using it in like World 13, you could equip this with her. If you're just trying to like make Rika all around, you just get all of them. And then depending on what you're trying to do, you can, she's very customizable, which I like, I guess. She's not even what I would consider probably the strongest ship. So, yeah, once again, we're just going into review of Rika here because these equipments are basically going to be only used on her. Next, we have the Dynamic Cannon. So this is... Um actually not a Rika equipment. It's going to get 35 firepower at plus 13. That's not that high, but it can be equipped to a lot of different things, including the heavy cruisers and large cruisers, battle cruisers, battleships, aviation battleships, battle monitors, things like that. Uh, it changes the background music. If the lead ship is a light cruiser, heavy cruiser, or a large cruiser, so basically anything other than a destroyer, fire a support barrage 12 seconds after the battle starts. So this looks like it could be pretty interesting because we're going to boost firepower which could be important obviously we have the radar that the, the fumo radar that we got before but you can do this and put it on a vanguard ship and then it also has a barrage so actually this is probably something that you might use outside of the event of course it also gives background music so for those of you who like changing your background music this is one next up we have a gold burn so it has 640 hp so a nice gold equipment for hp 38 oh okay so this used to be 38 reload for anyone equipped that would be absolutely busted because you could put this on a backliner and 38 reload will make a difference but now the 38 reload is actually part of the skill not part of the base stats and it has a condition on it if equipped by a vanguard ship or an sssss character so this is not going to be able to be equipped on something like i don't know shinano like you could in theory have put this on shinano and made her like launch really quickly that's no longer the case that was a, a bug fix this one also changes the battle background music so that's cool if the flagship is a carrier or a light carrier fire a support barrage 25 seconds after the battle so we can give 35 reload to any vanguard ship it can also go to an sss character which means you can equip it on the aircraft carrier the chise so chise is going to get extra reload for her already high reload uh, uh off the bat i think Hercules second airstrike is going to fire first but um that's going to be awfully close and I mean, I guess you do have to restrict yourself to an auxiliary slot being basically not boosting anti-air. Or, I'm sorry, not boosting aviation. I think Acula is going to slightly edge out Chise here. I don't know. That's This makes it a lot closer because now you can actually, like, literally you're going to have a preloaded. And the second one's going to have the barrage. And they're going to come out about the same time. I don't know. The fact that also for, you know, carrier flagship, you're getting an extra barrage. These having barrages off of the equipment is kind of weird. The only equipment that is locked to hull is going to be that dynamic cannon, which uh, when I'm looking at it, that one looks like the most powerful because you literally have a barrage 12 seconds after the battle starts and it's going to be able to give you firepower to your much needed vanguard ships but i would also probably pick up this gold burn both of these look like they could be usable and interesting also background music changes are cool the other four are going to be basically for playing around with rika off the bat i think that gridman caliber or samurai caliber and buster boar in a torpedo rika is probably more fun but you know there's no real harm in picking up all of them and just like being able to do things later once again this is a collab event so the rerun potential is near zero i guess we can look at the map here so we go with t1 through t4 so a little bit different than your standard event and then we have an sp mode of course you want to do that once daily as much as possible we're going to be just playing in t4 because that's where the most points are the oil caps are 20 for mob 30 for boss 15 for subs so you should be able to do this 
pretty oil efficiently. And then, uh, yeah, in terms of what drops, nothing that special, you know, fuel filters, air radars, seaplanes, nothing that great. So we're not really playing too much for the drops. We're playing for the points and those points are going to be important to pick up some of these gears. So let's move into my overall reactions here. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. This event is actually pretty good. This is probably, I would go out on a limb here and say the most powerful set of collab ships yet. I don't know if they like saw Idolmaster and they were like, no one liked that event. The ships weren't very good. And they were like, we're going to try something different. I don't know because these ships are actually like somewhat meta defining so if we look at rika maybe not like the best ship out there but like what ship can equip five auxiliaries that's a total meme but it's also like very unique it kind of reminds me of when fubuki came out and she was like the first vanguard ship that had like the ability to launch airstrikes and even though she wasn't great like there were a lot of people who would use her for special things she feels a lot like that she's got this like really special unique set of skills that can just like make her very versatile i think the best variant is probably going to be her torpedo version like i said using her two torpedo auxiliaries and then like three torpedo actually it would probably be um a torpedo equip her two uh like torpedo special enhancements for herself and then two rainbow torpedo auxiliaries as well so she'd have four auxiliaries and just the torpedo rainbow for the base and i think she would be literally like a torpedo master there i'd have to do some damage count for that to see how good it is if it's like on par with shimikaze or something like that i don't think it will be but anyway rika's interesting we've talked enough about her akane akane is probably the most boring of the srs she's like really just like a barrage battleship but like actually good like a good barrage battleship like the ship will be kind of like on par with monarch so if you're like a new player or just starting and you don't have a barrage battleship yet or you're like halfway done with farming monarch or whatever this is something you can just get out of the gotcha real quick and go with so yeah this is a, a really good beginner ship uh, and it's not even bad for like older players it's not special so to me it's like this is like the new player ship but it's good it's good it's certainly i would say it's one of the better barrage battleships that come out of collab ships she say i don't know what to, much to say other than they literally like made acula this is going to be hard to decipher which one's going to be better they're both going to be pretty, pretty interchangeable she's obviously going to be pvp oriented or you know things that you need preloaded for which is i mean it almost never hurts to have preloaded i guess this is good for people who don't have acula if you don't have acula this is your preloaded get to i would say this is the largest target ship of the event you need to pick up chise uh, which feels really weird to say in a, a collab event i don't really like saying that because these don't come back right i guess in the long run acula and this ship are pretty interchangeable so we'll probably have an acula rerun at some point and you'll have access to it but like pick up this ship you're gonna need it and also the fact that she is like 233 three instead of 224 i like 224 better for pvp but like 233 three might be better for certain situations in pve long run and like i said with that special equipment that she has you have the ability to get her second airstrike coming out about the same time as acula obviously you give up some aviation to do that but you know if you need that speed that's fine and we're not even talking about the fact that she has a pretty good vanguard shield reducing all damage that all vanguard ship take by eight percent every time that she has her first and third airstrike guaranteed and that first airstrike is preloaded so you literally have a shield for the preloaded torps yeah this is a must pick up honestly it's kind of exciting it's also like kind of sad that there's a collab ship that's a must pick up and then the heavy cruiser we're going into yume and this ship is the barrage queen. I don't, I'm trying to think of another ship that's going to put more barrages on the seas than this ship. Like we're literally every 20 secondary attacks, every 10 main gun attacks, she's a main gun plus one. So that's double the amount of main gun attacks every 18 seconds. Just barrage, 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 barrage. The downtime on barrages on this ship are going to be basically nothing. This is going to be a very good PVE ship. Mob fleeting, this will get through a lot of things. Obviously the lasers are not going to be affected by shields really gets through a lot of 
a lot of stuff. And even in boss fleets, if the boss is heavy armor and you can get that armor break guaranteed at the 18 second mark lined up for your battleships in the back, man, that's gonna hurt a lot. So she's going to be good for mob and boss if the boss is heavy armor in PvE. Not PvP ship, but I would also really want to pick up Yume. I would say Yume and Chise are must pickups, um, which is not something I say very much about collab ships. Akane is is a must pick up if you're a new player and don't have a barrage battleship. But if you have like Monarch or if you have a lot of the other standard barrage battleships, she's going to be very comparable. You still might want to have multiple so you can, you know, have multiple fleets. For example, when you go to Operation Siren and you need four fleets, things like that. But, you know, there are better alternatives to Akane. That's more like kind of what I like standard for collabs so that you have a ship that's great for the new players you're bringing in, but not something that like players in in three months from now are gonna be like oh i need that ship that will never rerun rika's interesting i would pick her up simply for collection because there's no other ship like her um how good she will be remains to be seen i'll have to test her a little bit and uh while Mu mujina and namiko are kind of garbage uh, I mean, Mujina has a really interesting uh, siren aircraft, but in terms of like what they actually do, they're not very good. Hass though is, Hass is probably not going to be good either, but she's got a healing smoke screen, which is not healing, but it's going to reduce or remove the ignite effects, uh, which is really interesting. I like that skill. I don't think this is the ship that's going to make that worthy or that you should like use this ship because of that. But I do think that, you know, a ship in the future that gets a smoke screen like that that could be great in terms of the gears the gears are fine uh obviously the top four sky vitor buster boar gridman caliber slash samurai caliber or the battle tracto max those are only for rika but if you have rika you obviously want to pick those up and then you have dynamic cannon and the gold burn both are like decent the fact that you can give 38 reload and 640 hp that could be fun especially for like torpedo memes like you could give this to a destroyer and you know needs the hp for survivability and then the reload can help with the reloading those torps. Uh, yeah, definitely interesting. Background music, of course, and the dynamic cannon has a barrage on it. So overall, very powerful event. This is definitely one you don't want to miss. And there's a few ships I would go deep for. Now, remind you, we are getting another UR before the end of the year. And the year is like only one more month. So actually five more weeks something like that um before then we're gonna have another ur event which you're gonna need 400 cubes stored so this this really hurts because it gives us ships that are not going to be rerun that are meta defining that are going to be right before a ur event so yeah be be very careful with your cubes but these ships are pretty strong so i'm gonna go a little deep in here and go a little risky probably i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it on stream or not like i said my life has been kind of busy i want to stream to you guys because i feel bad and i want to like get more content out for you guys but sometimes life is life anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this sorry it's a little bit later than usual it's gonna probably go up after the the servers come live but i think the reviews are still gonna be very relevant for people on day one most of you guys are probably celebrating thanksgiving so you probably haven't even loaded up the game yet if you're preparing for that if you're in the u.s of course uh, so happy thanksgiving to my american viewers and enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you guys until next time take care